There has just been a very, very serious uh, vulnerability discovered in Windows. Well, that was on June 11th, and uh, the update is out. So anybody who hasn't updated their Windows recently should go do that right now, and then they can come back and watch and figure out why they should update, because you, you should. Uh, and of course, the real thing is if you happen to be using a device with Wi-Fi that is unsupported, you are in very serious trouble, because this vulnerability will never be fixed. And it turns out, and it's quite bad. Okay, so let's read uh, how exactly this works. So the gist of it is, it is a remote code execution vulnerability in the Wi-Fi drivers. So all you need in order to exploit this, uh, of course, is first of all to know how, because there isn't a public exploit yet, but there definitely will be, because it's quite a simple vulnerability. It, it says the attack complexity is low, but the attack vector is adjacent. So if you were within range, that is, someone using a Wi-Fi device could see an access point you are hosting, that person is vulnerable. So it is not, you don't need physical access, but you need adjacent access. So this is going to be common at places like hotels, um, coffee shops, uh, basically anywhere where people might be in proximity more scarily. Uh, of course, you can also do this at companies, you know, you know in the office, uh, someone could set this up, uh, and given Wi-Fi is a pretty long range, uh, that, that's a, obviously a threat, and they would need no privileges, no user interaction, so you don't have to join the Wi-Fi network, uh, so I'm guessing the way this is working has something to do with handshaking, just the way that Windows finds out what a Wi-Fi network is called, it seems like there's some sort of way you can break out of that and just execute code. Now, it can only affect the same scope, but unless I'm mistaken, I'm going to guess that whatever is exploiting the Wi-Fi drivers is running at kernel level. The integrity is high, or you completely lose integrity or protection, uh, and you can hide as the Wi-Fi driver, and there's, yes, high availability. So the exploit code is not public. Uh, I, I don't think it's reasonable to call it theoretical. Uh, Microsoft has rushed out a patch, so immediately update. And here they are confirming, though, that yes, this is vulnerability exists and can be exploited. Uh, th this, I think, is yeah because it's not being exploited or publicly disclosed yet. So this means you you have time. Like if you're watching this right now, you are probably safe. But if you're watching this in a month. I would bet that this has already been exploited quite badly. And we can also go down to see the affected systems, which is maybe the scariest thing, because as many people know, uh, there are some ways in which functionally old Microsoft code bases uh, can still get supported, even if the main code base isn't. And through that, we can see that the other adjacent things, uh, like 2008 R2 is functionally very similar to 7, uh, we can see that uh, there, there's a very, very long list of uh, affected uh, every supported Windows system, and we can confidently say any system, oh, even, okay, so 2008 RTM as well. So we can confidently say anything since Vista is vulnerable, and I would assume that XP is vulnerable unless there is evidence otherwise. Now, of course... If you're using anything older than Windows 10 uh, con on the consumer level, uh, you, you are not going to be getting a security update for this. So you really need to update. Unless you were just using like a, a desktop system with no wireless adapter, if you're running an operating system uh, older than Windows 10, it, that, is, that, that is over now. It's, it's no longer a good idea. So that's going to be all. This is just kind of a PSA. There's not a lot of information to share at this point.